And everybody at Brandon Bill is super nice. They're awesome. Uh, they're going to have shirts for us for Vegas. Uh, super cool. All these Power Trip hats here, Brandon Bill's hats, they're fantastic. Uh, the announcement of the announcement. We've been talking about doing this for a while, and now it's uh, actually going to come to fruition. Uh, Jesse, I, it's going to sound like I'm making fun of you, but I'm really not. You seem like a good dude. Uh, Jesse, when we called your name, you were like, I'm not really good at this game. I don't you know, have very high expectations, correct? Fair to say? Correct. Right. So once in a while, we would like a Rube that truly can shake this group to the ground, right? Like somebody that can actually play. So what we're going to start doing... People are raising their hands. No, we're not going to replace Jesse. He gets a crack at round yeah, three. he's good. He's good. He's good. Uh, I just posted it on Twitter, uh, at Initials Game and at Power Trip KFM. From time to time, maybe once a month or so, uh, we're going to pick somebody that submits a video on social media and uh, in 30 or 40 seconds can kind of prove to us that they have energy and that they are, are, would be capable of playing this game. Think of it like you're auditioning for Survivor. But for initials, right? Send us a video. You have to be following the Power Trip at Power Trip KFAM. You have to be following at Initials Game, and then you have to include the hashtag, hashtag KFAN Initials. Thirty to forty seconds. Just give us a kind of vibe, uh, a little bit of energy, a little bit of a of a perspective on why you might be good. And about once a month or so, uh, the entire Power Trip Morning Show are going to put our heads together and say, "Hey, this person might actually be kind of fun." And then we'll have people in studio playing initials against the regulars. Your thoughts? That sounds like fun to me, man. That sounds real good. So, you know, I'm, I'm sure we're going to have people saying sob stories and you got to let me do this because of this. I know that's, that's part of it, and that's, uh, that might be considered. And I know a lot of you have been friends of the show for a long time, and you're going to say, hey, I've listened to you guys for 20 years. I'm at every event. Let me play. And we might pick you, but in general, this is uh, more of an audition, if that makes sense. We're casting... The real housewives of initials, if you will. We need energy and personality and some ability. Marty, what do you think they should show us in their video? <laughs> How would you get hockey to pick you? Show us your floppies. Wow. Marty! <laughs> I think that's a good idea, Marnes. I like the way wow. you think. And I, I like didn't that expect you, you to it say down. that, but I think that's really great. I yes. like that you and wrote it a, down, too. There's a, gr there's a drawing as well. Thanks. Yeah, Marty. Hashtag, Welcome. peel them out. Two smiley yeah. faces. Yeah. I like that you, you wrote it down so you wouldn't get it wrong. Yeah, Very so professional. Great. Well Marnes. done, Marnes. And I agree with you 100%. I wouldn't have the guts to say it. Marnie, you didn't yeah. have to read that. Yeah. Well, oh. she wrote it down, so she thought she had Is my to. mic on? What? Either way, you know, one of, uh, outside of Marnie winning here at TI, I would still argue Josh in Detroit Lakes almost, what, seven or eight years ago was awesome. Yeah. And uh, we want uh, some rooms to actually have a chance to experience that, even if it is in the KFAN studios, which is also really cool to, to come play at, That's uh, right. at the radio station. Hell yeah, man. That's right. So make your video, and as Marnie always says, show us your floppies. Right. <laughs> So, again, it's not, it's not going to be every week. It's not going to be every other week. It's going to be when we're like, hey, we should probably uh, mix in a root from time to time, and we'll, uh, we'll tap on you on, uh, on Insta or on Twitter and say, hey, can you make it to the studio? <laughs> we'll tap what? into you. Whoa. We'll tap into you, and then we'll ask you to play initials. Oh. Zach, you, you're... You, so you, there you go. That was the announcement of the yay! announcement. Rubes getting to play from time to time. Should we do a quick fan five? Because look, round three's coming up in a little bit, but uh, we got some sports to discuss, shall we? You damn right. It's time for fan five on the power trip, presented by All Around Property Preservation. Hey, thanks, All Around Property Preservation. All right. So the Wild won last night, but it was really kind of a disastrous yeah. night overall because everything else went the wrong way. Uh, the Wild did beat the Sharks, the worst team in the NHL, three to one. The bad news was Vegas and St. Louis. Also won. St. Louis won five to three. Vegas won four to one. So the Wild have 79 points. They are eight points behind. Here's the uh, kicker. They're eight points behind the Kings now because Vegas has won a couple of games. So they actually have 88 points. The Kings have 87. So the Wild trail the final Wild card spot by eight, and they are still three points behind the St. Louis Blues, who are also still in big trouble. But they are also technically ahead of the Minnesota Wild. Zach, the Wild have 10 games to go, and uh, it gets no bigger than tomorrow because tomorrow they are uh, hosting at 2.30 the Las Vegas Golden Knights, the defending champs. Yeah, uh, you can't win the last 11 if you don't win the first, so that was good uh, last night. Good to see Julie Erickson Eck back and uh, made an impact. Again, just the injuries this season have been terrible. This is a very good team, uh, and, and I hope if they can uh, stay away from the injury bug next year, can do some good things, but... Uh, still plenty to play for tomorrow, big uh, afternoon uh, of hockey, and then, of course, the evening as well with the Gophers. So 
Should be a fun sports weekend. Uh, speaking of the Gophers, Zach, oh, they won last night, 3-2 to two over Nebraska-Omaha. Yes, uh, late, late goal. And uh, we were watching it here in the parlay. It was awesome. Uh, really good uh, crowd here. So uh, Om Omaha is a good team. And to get past them and then now uh, a big battle uh, against the folks out east. Bunch of guys from Boston and Minnesota battling tonight. We'll see if it works. Uh, Marnie, we've hammered to death the fact that A-Rod and Mark Laurie had three years to get their S together and couldn't do it. And Glenn Taylor's being an absolute pain in the ass. So, uh, again, a couple of villains. There's no uh, winner in this uh a fiasco down at Target Center. But if you take the uh, ownership problem off the table for a second, giant game in actual basketball tonight when the Wolves are at Denver at 8 o'clock. They are a half a game behind the Denver Nuggets for first in the West. The Wolves are tied with Oklahoma City. And tonight on DraftKings, the Nuggets are six and a half point favorites. The over under 2 11 and a half. Mm. Huge game tonight. The Wolves are a half game. <laughs> Cocky stop. Who? The Wolves are a half game behind Denver. Denver, OKC, and Minnesota all have 22 <laughs> losses, so they're even in the loss column. The difference is Denver has one more win, so that gives them a half game advantage. But the Wolves tonight, we finally get Denver on a non-back-to-back. -back. Last time we played them uh, two weeks ago, the Wolves were coming from that game in Salt Lake City, and Nas Reed did not play, and Rudy Gobert did not play, and the Wolves still had a chance to tie it. Remember, Anthony Edwards got that great look from three at the buzzer, and he missed it. So oh. the Nuggets won by three on a night when we didn't have Nas and Rudy. We have them tonight, and that it's just a one-game road trip. The Wolves come back home for three more. We have ten games to go, folks, and we're playing for first place tonight. How are a bungee cord and oh, a boy. hooker alike? Oh, boy. If the rubber breaks, you're screwed. Brilliant. Wow. That was great, Arnd. I don't get it. <laughs> Good one. Um, by the way, it's, it's going to sound like we're just kissing ass here, but our friend Ben Johnson at the University of Minnesota is absolutely getting screwed. Why? Uh, or is this, that a good thing? No, no. This, this NIL thing is a gigantic problem for the University of Minnesota. I don't, I, this is maybe going to get me into next year's preposterous statement tournament, but I don't think you could get Coach K here if you don't have NIL money. I don't I think, think it matters. Right. This team is completely screwed. We can't pay anybody, so no one is ever going to stay. This sucks. Minnesota sports suck. Oh. Right, Zach? Right, Zach? Right, Sauce? I mean, uh, I mean the, yeah. They're screwed. Pharrell Payne's leaving. Carrington's leaving. Everybody's leaving because we don't have any money. Who else is leaving, Hawk? Uh, um, Larry Reynolds. Yeah, he already left. Yeah. We're turning into a developmental team, like a, 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 a <laughs> minor league team, basically, for the major colleges. And uh, it's, it's too bad, uh, the way the system is. Well, what's different from the past? Oh. Well, I mean, they would John, at least. Sorry. We're going to turn this around. I'm going to win enough money today to recruit the best players in the world to come to the University of Minnesota. Marnes, do you have another joke for us? I don't want to read it. Please read it. I don't want to read it. Please. Come on, Marty. Do you guys want to hear the joke that Marty came up with just yeah. now? You can't Marnes. let the people down. Marnes, they want to hear your jokes. You're a comedic oh. genius. Oh, my God. Why did the snowman smile? Oh, God. He saw the snowblower coming. Yes! <laughs> Good joke, Marge. Hey, You're are you, filthy. Are you on TV tonight? Yes, I, I think so. Are you sure? I better check my bosses are calling. Yeah, mm-hmm. So You're far, I am. Steam? Anyway, a sincere shout-out to Ben Johnson. Ben's in the He's worst the spot ever, man. He's such a good dude, and it's... Some of the stuff we've heard that uh, is kind of half off the record, it's just a, it's a nightmare. They don't have any money. Yeah, I think they, Dil Dylan they, yesterday who was here said that they might lose up to nine players. Oh my gosh, I don't. And we are a big city, you know. Minneapolis is a big city with big companies. St. Paul. So it's Corey. When you say they don't have the money, it's true. The University of Minnesota does not have the NIL money, but there is money. It is all around. But they it's just not have to getting go, funneled. Yeah, you're correct. None of it. We need the funnel. Yep, it's not don't, happening. Don't you think part of that, though, is because we have four major sports franchises, professional sports franchises, yes, that and you know, that's theory. where the yeah. funding goes? Genie's out of the bottle, though. This NIL thing is going to – I don't think that's uh, going to change any time ever for nope. the University of Minnesota. I think we're in huge trouble for a long, long time. Marnie, you want to read that joke or not? Yeah, Marnie, did you come no. up with another joke? Oh, Would you guys Marnie. like to hear another Marnie joke? Fire. You are a comedic genius. Please. 
Read your last joke, and then we'll go to break and play this like, initials game and this, give away a trip to Vegas. This is like Colin Jost and Michael Che. It's unbelievable how your joke writing. How did Burger King get Dairy Queen pregnant? That's a good one. He forgot to wrap his Whopper. Marnie, that's just Marnie, gross. you're so dirty, but yeah. I like it. Uh, Katie Storm tonight on Bally Sports <laughs> Fourth will do pregame and postgame, and uh, Marnie... Uh, they would like to see you in the office at 9.01. Uh, All right, yeah. when we come back, giant Sorry. show Woo! because the initials major gets wrapped up. And uh, one of you out here at Treasure Island Resort and Casino is going to win a trip for two to Las Vegas just for putting up with us for three and a half hours. All of that and more after this Power Trip Morning Show from TI on The Fan. Are you looking for ways to elevate your business through premium headwear and apparel? At Branded Bills, we focus on attention to detail, in-person customer experience, and quality craftsmanship to provide a finished, customized product for any occasion. Our core belief is to create out-of-the-box products that enhance the value of your personal brand or business. We offer low minimum orders, unique design applications, and completed custom products in as quick as two weeks. To find out more, visit brandedbills.com is filled with benefits that you will love. Hi, I'm Chris Lindahl, and I want to share with you a short list of just a few things you don't have to worry about when you get an offer from us. There are no commissions, no repairs, no decluttering, and no showings. It's that simple. We'll even give you a cash offer the same day we meet. If you need to sell fast, then you should go to chrislindahl.com right now to get your guaranteed cash offer and start packing. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. Hey, it's Hockey here for my friends at Builders and Remodelers. You looking to save big on your next home improvement project? You're in luck. Right now, Builders and Remodelers is offering home show special savings on any roofing, siding, door, or window project. Like buy one window, get your second window half off. Plus, home show special savings of an additional $50 off on each Elements triple pane window. The highest rated window in the industry. Best products, great prices, professionally installed by Builders and Remodelers for over 70 years. Go to buildersandremodelers.com. Nobody does it better. The auto show sale starts right now. Where do you find up to $1,000 auto show bonus cash, free oil changes, gas and car wash discounts? Exclusively at Luther Mazda, LutherMazda.com. See dealer for details. The only thing we overlook is $694. Hey, everybody, it's Chris Hockey. Twin Cities homeowners have trusted builders and remodelers to professionally install and warranty the highest quality windows, siding, roofing, doors, and patio doors since 1952. If you call them today, you'll get a free upgrade to Class 3 shingles and a lifetime workmanship warranty on any roofing project. How's that sound? Plus, you can get 36 months no interest financing if you qualified from Builders and Remodelers at buildersremodelers.com. Again, 72 years. Take advantage of these savings from the best in the business. Buildersremodelers.com. Nobody does it better. <sighs> Our energy bill ranks as highest in the neighborhood. Maybe it's time for a new comfort system. There's those once in a lifetime tax incentives. <laughs> you need a Sherpa to navigate Rebate Mountain. Pronto will guide you. Wade! And little Sherpa. Get up to $6,150 in tax credits and rebates. When you buy a high-efficiency heating and cooling system from Pronto. Let us show you the way at ProntoHeat.com. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Raising Cane's One Love. Who doesn't want chicken fingers and the best chicken fingers on the planet? 
are the ones at Raising Cane's. I might get them on the uh, the way home today from uh, from TI here. Why not stop at Raising Cane's? There's 17 Twin Cities locations, and the beauty of Raising Cane's, not only are the chicken fingers the best because they're fresh and they're never, ever frozen, they're always cooked to order, they'll get them to you fast, whether it's the drive through or going in the store or mo uh, ordering on the mobile app or going to RaisingCane's.com. You want chicken fingers fast? You think Raising Cane's. Raising Cane's chicken fingers. Get them today. Raising Cane's. One love. St. Paul Saints baseball is almost here. Come join us for hijinks, shenanigans, and all the Twins' top prospects. Single game tickets are now on sale. Opening day, March 29th. Visit saintsbaseball.com for more information. Fun is good. It's what we do. Luther and LutherAuto.com. If you want a uh, quick uh, sum of cash, right, if you want somebody to pay you for that vehicle, the easiest way to do it is not to sell it online yourself, not to sell it with a for sale sign in the, uh, the back window. The easiest thing to do is to sell your vehicle to Luther. It turns out the best place to buy a car is the best place to sell your car. So sure, if you're looking to buy or lease, you go to Luther. My family's been doing that for over a decade. We love the uh, the great people at Luther. I drive a Luther uh, vehicle. My wife does. Now my daughter does. Uh, we got three Luther cars. And uh, if you have been to Luther in the past, you know you're going to get the best customer service and best selection. But you can also get the best offer. So sell your vehicle to Luther by driving into any of the 45 locations. Tell them you want to take uh, have somebody take a quick look at the vehicle. They will. That process is about 15 minutes. It's fast. It's simple. It's safe. And if you accept the offer, Luther does all the paperwork. They're great people. They're going to make you a great offer. You move on from the car. Uh, you get the cash. Everybody's happy. Find them online and get into one of those uh, dealerships today. Go to LutherAuto.com. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-TV.com. March is the best time to check your home's windows. Call the pros right now at Window Nation and WindowNation.com. You can call them at 866-90-NATION. They offer the best deal. For every two windows you buy, you get two windows free. Let me repeat that. For every two windows you buy from Window Nation and WindowNation.com, you get two windows free. Plus zero down, zero interest, and no payments for 24 months. Call the pros that I call at 866-90-NATION or visit them at WindowNation.com. That's windownation.com. They are the absolute best. Now back to the 651 Carpets Plus, home of the next day in Saul Studios. It's the power trip on the fan. It's time for Initials Major Round 3 on the power trip. Who's yeah! feeling lucky out there? Come on now. We're live. Final segment. Power Trip Morning Show from Treasure Island Resort and Casino. And uh, the third round of the initials major is about to come up. Creasel is kicking a word today. He's real close to winning, but it ain't over yet. But even more importantly for all those people here with us today, we're going to give away a trip to Vegas with the Power Trip Morning Show at the end of this segment. Right, Corey? Yeah, in 12 days we leave. We're there April 10th through the 13th. All, all thanks to our friends at Treasure Island Resort and Casino, which is just fantastic. Yeah. All right, so lots to get to in this final segment, so let's get through it quickly, shall we? Yeah. Uh, Sauce, what happens if you win? Uh, if I win, I'm sponsored by my friends at 7th Avenue Pizza. All 7th Avenue pizzas are on sale for $8.99 at all Kowalski's locations. If I win today, tweet me and tag 7th Avenue Pizza through the end of Friday, and one lucky winner will win $100 to put towards restocking your freezer with 7th Avenue Pizza. Not out of, uh, pizza. Not out of the question for Sauce. Pizza. Sauce, you're just four back. You're not pizza. out yet. Uh, Chris, what happens if you win? Radco.com and Radco. You'll receive 10% off your entire order now through Monday in-store online at Radco.com when you use the promo code initials. Discount does not apply to toppers. Thank you, Radco. I love you. I'm going to try to make the comeback and ain't looking good. Yeah, Chris has three. You're five <laughs> back. Uh, Marnie, you are seven back. What happens if you create a minor miracle? If Chris passes away and Zach gets violently <laughs> ill, I'm sponsored by my hometown friends, Great Clips, and if I win, tweet me and tag Great Clips today through the end of Sunday. One lucky winner will get one year of free haircuts at Great Clips salons, plus Great Clips will donate $1,000 to the charity of my choice. Uh. Awesome. A lot of impressive answers out of Zach, but Zach, you still trail by four, but if you come back and win, what happens? I am sponsored by my friends at ABC American Building Contractors, and if I win today, tweet at me, at Zach Halverson, and take at ABC will help through the end of Sunday. And one lucky winner will win a $100 Visa gift card. Creasel, you have a four-point lead with 10 to go. How are you feeling? I 
feel good. You I should. feel optimistic. You look good. Mm-hmm. But uh, we've wanna... seen bigger comebacks. So. Well, we'll see. All right. Okay. Come uh, on, Crease. Jesse, you have 10 items to go. Rube, Jesse is yet to score. Jesse, you said you would get a point in round two. You didn't, but there's 10 to go. Do you believe you will get on the board in round three? I absolutely do. All right. Yeah. Some optimism. Look at it. Look at it. Optimism. And Jesse, if it doesn't work out, you can always play initials at home by going to initialsgame.com. Don't care. Uh, versions four and five available now. You can play this game year round with your friends, your family, your neighbors. If you don't have any oh, friends or family or neighbors, just uh, go through the cards okay. yourself and quiz yourself. You know, initialsgame.com. All right, before we play round three, last crack of the day, one of you gets a shot at $62,000. It's time for the jackpot. Now it's time for the St. Paul Federal Credit Union Initials Jackpot. Good job, Max. So, yeah, that's right. The Initials Jackpot, currently $62,000. You're looking to buy a new car? Save money in your current car loan? Do it with St. Paul Federal Credit Union, now offering car loan rates as low as 6.29%. Apply today to stpaulfcu.org slash KFAN. Federal insured by the NCUA. 1-800-320-5326. Get on the phones right now, Corey. Yeah, last round we had somebody here at TI get through, which, again, is allowed to happen. You can just call the number, and if you get through, you get through because the uh, the caller is selected uh, randomly from everybody that's trying to call in all over the country. Who knows? Uh, again, if you get one letter in the right spot, St. Paul Federal Credit Union gives you 250 bucks. If you get both letters right, you win $62,000. Here we go. Final caller of the day. What is your name, and where are you from? Hello? Hello? Doug from somewhere? Sounded like Doug from somewhere. Hi, Doug. Hi, how are you, Clark? Good, Doug. Where are you from? All right, Doug. Say it again, Doug. Oh, shit. That sounded like the S word to me. It did. <laughs> or Michigan. Who knows? You know what, Doug? It doesn't matter. Congratulations, yeah. Doug. You are on the phone. You have a big chance at big money right here. Yeah, we don't care where you're from as long as you just say the right initials. Doug, what are you, uh, what are you guessing for a shot at $62,000? Let's try double initials. We'll go N N like November. Oh, you're going oh. N N like November. November, Take November. Points. He's going double yep. N. Didn't have a uh, didn't have didn't have a uh, double letter in round one or round two. That's Do right. I have a double letter Ooh. in round three? Come on, give it to him. He's yeah, going man. N. Come on, Doug from S word. N. Doug <laughs> from S word. Your, your dad's favorite town. <laughs> going with double letters. Going with double N. Does Doug from somewhere on earth? Have at least one letter right with the N for a shot at 250. And is he still alive for $62,000? I'm going to say it twice because it starts with N. No and no. Ah, oh, Dougie Doug. No Doug and Doug. Doug, Doug, Doug no. Sorry, Doug. Didn't hate the strategy. I actually probably would have guessed a double letter as well. But it's not double letters in round three. The final round of initials major uh, number one of 2024 here at TI. The letter P and then the letter M. P and then the letter M. I knew it. You knew it. Come on, everybody. Let's make some noise. Let's go. Good guys. Come right. on. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Let's hubba, cheer hubba, for Crease, Daddy. All right, here's the score one last time, and then we'll get under uh, way. Uh, Crease, so you have eight. You have a four point lead over both Zach and Sauce, who have four. Hawk has three. Marnie has one. Jesse, technically not mathematically out of this. Is everybody ready? Good guys! Here is what? number one, oh, good. round three, P. I don't know. M. Clue number one. At one point, the largest one in the world. Clue number three. Can, but doesn't always, produce smoke. Zach. Go for it. Philip Morris. I know. Mm. That's a good guess. All right. Uh, Zach, go out for the rest of number one. A lot of confidence behind that answer. Zach. Nope. Clue number four. This involves machinery. Clue number five. This is a facility or factory. What? Final clue. Clue number six. Wood pulp 
is used at these places. Five, four, three, two, one. No idea. Nobody. Yell it out, crowd. That's a paper mill. Oh, oh that's right. Oh. The crowd had it. Yeah. Paper I'm thinking mine. mill. That's a wood paper pulp? mill. That's, All right, John. Yeah, yeah. I've never you heard needed of that. Wood pulp. Wood pulp, yeah. Is it? Well, you need a better Sorry. education. Oh, <laughs> wow. I prefer my with no Way to go, North Dakota. Well said, Taco. <laughs> no child down. left behind except for Marty, Marty Gellner. Hey. Damn it. I kept thinking mine. Paper mill. All right, nobody got paper mill. Here is number two. Come on, Jesse. Come on, good guys. Of PM. Clue number one. The first word is commonly shortened to just three letters. Clue number two. This has been significant dating back decades. Clue number three. Often considered repetitive. Mm, Marnie. Go for it. Pop music. That's right. Oh! Oh! Two! Who's got two? You're on the board, Marns. Uh, you have two points. Pop music or popular music is absolutely the right answer. That's real good, Pop, Marnie Pop, Gilner. Pop, Pop is in popular music. Well Pop, done. Pop, All right. Music. All right. So eight to go. Jesse, you need to run on, the Jesse. table. You got this, buddy. Uh, Creasel, you have on, the eight. Crease. Sauce and Zach each have four. Hawk has three. Marnie now has two. Here's number three of P. M. Clue number one. Has appeared in a Super Bowl. Clue number two. In 2016, broke a Guinness World Record involving a blindfold. Clue number three. Was a seventh round pick. Jesse. Jesse. Pat McAfee. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Hell yeah! Woo! Pat McAfee. Nice yeah! job. Jesse. Jesse. I have no Jesse. idea what that's talking about. What, did, what was the blindfold thing? What do you do? I don't I remember. No what, I don't remember what record he did. I did this clue on a month and a half ago, so I don't remember. But he, he has some kind of Guinness World Record that's related to a blindfold. I don't remember. Do they have a glory hole in the Super Bowl? Oh. <laughs> Oh, man. They do at my house. <laughs> that was what? too far. <laughs> hey, Jesse, you're still mathematically in. Way to go, yeah. Jesse. That's right. Coming back. All right. There's uh, there's seven to go. Uh, Creasel, you have eight. Zach and Sauce have four. Hawk has three. Marnie has two. Jesse now on the board with one. Here's number four. See, the crowd loves you, Jesse. Uh, number four of P. M. Clue number one. Connected to contests. Competitions and tournaments. Clue number two. Often connected to terms and conditions. Clue number three. Has value. Clue number four. Is an incentive. Clue number five. This is a reward. John. Yep. Pageant money. Crease mm -hmm. out for the rest of number Zach. four. Zach. Ball. Zach. Prize money. Prize yeah. money. Yeah. Nice job. Yep. Nice job, Zacho. Big swing. Yeah, big swing. Big that, that was, was good. That was a Blair Walsh type miss there. That That's was good. Right. That's a big end. You were on yep. the right path, Crease. Nice job, Zach. Zach swoops in and gets prize money for his fifth point. Pageant. <laughs> Uh, Creasel has eight. Zach, you're now in second with five. You're just uh, down three. Sauce, you have four. You're not out yet. Chris, you have three. Uh, Marnie has two, and Jesse has one. Here's number five of PM. Clue number one. This is considered rare. Clue number two. It involves details. Clue number three. Features visual information. Clue number four. This is known for accuracy. Paul. 
Yep. This is a dumb guess. Anytime. I'm not going to guess. Okay. <laughs> I wish you had. I, I can't. Is it because it's so dumb? I only listened to the one clue. Okay. <laughs> Sauce out for the rest of number five. Clue number five. A person can have this. Final clue. Clue number six. This is remarkably strong visual recall. Zach. Marty. Zach. Photographic memory. Yes, wow. Zacho. Yeah. Photographic oh. memory. And we have a game. Uh-oh, Crease. Here okay. comes Zach Halverson. All right, Zach, go. All right, we have five to go. So Jesse's mathematically eliminated. Marnie, you're now mathematically eliminated, but keep playing. What? Chris, you're in the spot where you need the next five because you're down five with Easy five peasy, to bitch. go. Oh, your mic's on. Chris, you have eight. Zach, you have five. Sauce, you have four. Hawk has three. Here's number oh. six. <laughs> number six of PM. Clue number one. Often seen near a star. Clue number two. In 1942, you could argue the first word was James. Clue number three. Considered extremely influential. Clue number four. Is a knight. Paul. Yep. Paul McCartney. That's right. Mm. Oh. Paul oh McCartney. Sir, Paul McCartney, born with the first name... James. Oh, really? I think sure. Hawk knew that. Yeah, he did. Shaking his head. Yeah. Yeah. Paul McCartney. Yeah, I fart the bed. <laughs> oh, thank you for <laughs> editing yourself. <laughs> the other word would have been interesting. All right, here we go. Four to go. Chris, no mathematically out as well. <clears throat> uh, Chris, so you have. It's okay, everybody. We're having fun, yeah, right? We're having fun. Yeah. All right, thank you. Chris, yeah, win or lose, we booze, right? Yeah. Chris has eight. Zach, you have six. You're two back. Did I say five earlier? Yeah. You, uh, you have six. Yeah, you have uh, a two-point deficit. Uh, Sauce has five. Hawk has three. Marnie has two. Jesse has one. So a two-point lead with four to go, Crease. Here is number seven of PM. Clue number one. Careful on this one, everybody, because the first word is a possessive noun. That is not going to help your chances. First word is a possessive noun. Clue number two. This is an area. Clue number three. Is slightly elevated. Paul. Yep. Pitcher's mound. That's right. Ooh. Good one. That is a pitcher's mound, and Sauce stays in this game because now he has six points. So when, whenever somebody says, is he really as dumb as he acts on the radio, obviously he's not. That was pretty damn good. That was good. Well done. Thank you, thank you. That was really well done. I didn't know the first clue. Yeah, yeah you're, you're not as, as dumb as everybody thinks. Uh, now explain possessive nouns. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> thank God he it's didn't a person, me. place, or thing that belongs to somebody. I don't know if he's right. <laughs> See? Everyone is stunned. <laughs> Everybody was like, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, closer yeah. than we would have guessed. Uh, Chris, here's the old situation. You ready for this? There are exactly three items to go, and you have a two-point lead. So, John, if you get any of the remaining three, you are the winner of the first major of 2024 at Treasure Island. Come on, John. All right. Hey. You need one of the next three. Otherwise... Uh, Zach has six and Sauce has six. You are two back with three to play, so you at least need two to force a tie. Here's number eight with John Creasel going for the victory at Treasure Island Resort and Casino. Here's number eight of PM. Clue number one. Often connected to punishments. Clue number two. 
Not considered serious. Clue number three. These are the opposite. They're considered minor. Jesse. Paul. Jesse was first. Petty misdemeanor. Yes, wow. Jesse. Yeah. Yeah. Those are petty that. misdemeanors. Yeah. yeah. And in a lot of ways, that helps John Creasel yeah. immensely. Wow, that's close. Son of a nice job. Whatever nice your job, name is. Jesse. Jesse, that was yeah. very good. That was good. Jesse, are you anybody's uncle? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. He's nice a, job, Uncle Jesse. He's an Thank actual you. Uncle Jesse. Yeah. Do you, any, do you have any daughters? No. Oh, no are you wow. no just dogs? Girl? Are you married? Oh, Jesse. No. Girl. You're not married. Oh. My girlfriend's right out You have there, a though. girlfriend. That's Jesse's girl over there. Jesse's girl. Jesse's girl. Are you going to the mall later? Get it. Uh, Jesse gets point number two. Uh, All right. That ties him with Marnie. Oh. oh. What do we get for that? Uh, 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 Zach. Oh, I'll show you later. Sh Zach, Zach. Don't All right. Stand. Unbroken Zach, chairs. Zach, you need the last two. Sauce, you need the last two. Right. Any other combination. I have that. And Creasel is the winner. That's tough. So if Crease gets this right, he wins. If Jesse, go, Hawk, John. or Marnie gets this right, Creasel also wins. John going for the win. Here's number nine of PM. Clue number one. Involves time. John. <laughs> what? Going for the win. John. Prime Meridian. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? I Gambled. Was, I was going to ring in. For oh, that my too. gosh. Yep. Even Thank his you. wife just went. <laughs> you had the same guess, Zach? I would have oh, wow. said the same thing. Yep. All right. The hell is that? All right. Hey. That gives uh, Zach and Sauce an opening. Uh, Crease out for oh, the rest yeah. of number nine. <laughs> Clue number two. Used to regulate. Oh, God. <laughs> Clue number three. Involves space. Clue number four. Now more and more is digital. Clue number five. Involves a metal post or pole. What? Final clue. Clue number six. Found along streets. These collect fees. Paul. Zach. Paul was first. Five, four, three, two, one. I don't know. One. Yes, You're me. out. Parking Marnie. meter. Zach was oh, definitely I, second, and parking meter is I, I, right. I couldn't get pole out of my mind. Button Just like bar. always. Just like always. Button bar. Way to no. go, Zacho. Yeah. Zach is not out of this. Oh, nice my job, goodness. Zacho. Parking All right. meter. All right. So here's the old situation. Final item of the major. It comes down to this. Creasel, uh, anybody but Zach, and you are the winner. Zach, you need this for the tie. Everybody else playing for Creasel. Here's number 10 of PM. Clue number one. The majority of it is commonly plastic or metal. Clue number two. Is an instrument. Clue number three. Its result... Ideally, resists fading. Um. Clue number four. Most commonly used by your dominant hand. Oh, yeah. Clue number five. This has a tip. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, um. J John. John for the win. Permanent marker. Permanent oh! marker! And John wins his first career major. Wow! wow. wow. Off the at crease! Treasure Island Resort and Casino. Permanent marker. Well dude. done. You held on and got it done. Was that the only one you got in the last round? Yeah. Wow, yeah. dude. The Incredible. Well it done. It wow. Got to win a match. I didn't get for one after there. the first round. Not a single one. Yeah, that happens. For Holy a minute there, balls. I thought Blair Walsh was going to send me a card saying, I feel you, buddy. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Round of applause for our winner, John oh. Creasel. John Creasel. Oh. Creasel with one S. Uh, Jesse. Nice Jesse, job, you John. have two S's. That was great. Jesse, how, how do you feel like you did? You feel like you did okay? 
Yeah, I did pretty good. You yeah. did great, man. Well have done. You, have you been to Treasure Island in the past? Multiple times. For the power trip? For this? No, this is my first time. Oh, okay. Cool. So you don't know how this works? No. Uh, this TV behind you is yours. Yeah! Just yeah! Look behind you, man. Look at this some bitch. You get a 65-inch TV from Vizio just for playing the game, man. Thanks. Yeah. You did well. You got two, and you got a brand new TV. Well Thanks done, to, Jesse. Thanks to Treasure Island Resort and Casino. They're going to hook Jesse up with this giant TV. Give it some noise. Now, come on now. That TV is Jesse's. All right, so that's well an done. awesome prize. This is a sweet TV. And Jesse did well, right? He got too late yeah. there. That was good. Oh, yeah, man, he did better than I did. <laughs> and especially since I found out that he's a Marine infantryman. So the fact that he got any of them right oh. is a miracle. Oh, yeah. Way to go, Jesse. Thank you, brother. All Thank right. you for your service. Uh, congrats nice to Creasel. That was fantastic. All right, so Creasel's the winner of the major. Uh, Jesse is the winner of this TV, but now one of you. Oh, yeah. Wins a trip oh. for two to Las Vegas, Nevada. So what we're going to do here, uh, Zach, we are going to digitally draw five names. That's right, five names. And Zach is going to throw them up on this uh, digital wheel. Maybe you've seen us use that digital wheel on uh, the golf bet or some other things in the past, like the uh, charts challenge when Zach had to find out that he was going from Philadelphia to Los Angeles. We're going to spin a digital wheel out of the five names that we draw, and whoever uh, whoever's name it lands on is winning the trip for two. To Las Vegas. So Thanks to be to clear, it, it, we're going to draw five names. Just because he draws your name here it doesn't mean you've won yet. It means you're on the wheel. Just to be clear, everybody. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Let's draw some names. All right. So, yeah, to be clear, this is not to win yet. Just one of the five. All right, here we go. Is that what Hawk just said? Yes. Yep. Thank you. Calais Sap. Calais. Must be present to win. Somebody's waving. Yeah. All right. Come, come on down. Come on down, Calais. Come on down. All right. She, yeah, I think that. Yeah, she's waving. She, All right, she knows that's down. her name. Come on down. Here comes the old giant projector screen because we're going to put the wheel Fantastic. up on the screen. We'll just have you stay right there. That's completely yep. fine. Stay there on the dance floor anywhere you want. Oh, thank you. Here we go. We're getting the big screen up here. It's going to wow. happen. All right, All right. That's contestant yeah. number one. That's yeah. number one. Congratulations. Zacho. Name number two. Tyler Goody. Goody, goody, goody. <laughs> Hey, look at the crease. Is uh, Tyler Goody Goody? Is Tyler. that Tyler right there? All right, Tyler. There we go. Tyler's uh, the There's second person. Tyler Goody. Tyler Come on over, brother. Might win a trip or two. We should probably check their IDs. Somebody could just walk over and say, yeah, I'm Tyler, whatever. That nice looks job. like okay, Tyler. Cool. There you yeah. go. Well done, Tyler. Okay. Well done. Uh, number three, Ryan O'Neill. Come on down. Wow, former husband of Barbara Streisand? <laughs> Ryan O'Neill. Is there a Ryan? Oh, oh, is that Ryan Barbara back there? Barbara Streisand, would you? There comes Ryan. There's you number three. Me? You might be a winner for a look trip at you. to two to Los Angeles. Look at him walking over here. Yep. Make Maybe. yourself comfortable. That's fine. Anywhere you want. That's great. Right, there's Thank Ryan. You. Number four, Zacho. Michael Schomer, Schomer, Schomer. <laughs> That's a long last name. Yeah. Hyphenated? Michael? Yeah, C-H-O-M-M-E-R. Hey, there he uh, is. Michael's right coming. on, man. Just make yourself comfy right there. Do we have one more name? Michael Gabo. Gabo. G-A-A-B-O. Gabo Gabo. Yeah, yo, Gabo Gabo. Hey, You're here. Oh, there, oh, there he is. Over, over there. Those are Michael. our five contestants. And that means Zacho has to quickly put him on the wheel. Now, again, we're going to spin the wheel. Oh, yeah. And one of these five contestants yes. is going to Vegas with the Power Trip Morning Show. Here we go. Look at you, Marns. All right, so once we get the wheel up here, there it is. Everybody see the oh. wheel? Everybody, Yeah, there it is. Okay. It's split evenly amongst the five. Is everybody ready? Oh, come on. You can do better now. Make some go. noise. Yeah. We got. I know your name didn't get drawn, but make some noise for these lovely people. So come on. We ready to go, Cor? It's down to these five. Zacho, spin the wheel. Who's going to Las Vegas? Thanks to Treasure Island Resort come and Casino. Come on, Gabba, Gabba, Gabba. It's gonna be. It's slowing down. It's slowing down. It's gonna. It's slowing. It's slowing. It's slowing. It's gonna be. Not Ryan. It's like Tyler. Hold on. 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 Oh my God. God! That was so close. <laughs> What's your name? Kayla. Oh my God! Kayla Sap. So, I thought it was Tyler for sure, but it just kept going. Kayla, how's it going? I, I, won. I can't believe I won. You're going, going to Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. Oh. Let's hear for her. Come on. Yay. That's unbelievable. That's I couldn't believe that. Who are you taking with? 
Justin, my husband. Oh, Thank well husband. done. Okay, so here's what's Hold cool. Hold on, we're not done yet. Yeah, you need to yeah, keep the screen yeah, down, keep, don't you? Yeah, leave the screen down leave for one second. Leave that screen down. So here's the deal. Thank Nobody you. go anywhere yet. The other four. Our other people, stay right there, please. So we decided last night to, uh, to hang on to the iPad, and we're going to spin it again. And one of the four of you is winning an iPad, hey, thanks funny. to Treasure Island Resort and Casino. Who wants an iPad? Same four names. We're just taking Kayla off there because she's going to Vegas. She doesn't need an iPad, you know? But one of you four is. Are you guys ready to spin yeah! the wheel? Let's see who wins the iPad thanks to Treasure Island Resort and Casino. I still can't believe how long that last one hung on. That wheel was greasy. It was a greasy wheel, but Kayla won. All right, the iPad goes to... This has got to be Ryan, right? It's going to hold on to Ryan, I think. Or it's going to get all the way around again. Yeah. That's not getting around. That's going to Ryan for sure. Ryan gets the iPad thanks to Treasure Island Resort and Casino. Yeah, Ryan. Way to go, Ryan. That's a nice consolation prize. Hell yeah, oh, yeah. it is. Right, Hell yeah, man. Sweet. Well done. That was great. Kayla's going to Vegas. Ryan's getting an iPad. We got a whole bunch of other prizes we're going to give the three people that did That's win. right. Our other three competitors. Come on up here, the, the, the losers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the All right, so here's losers. the thing. I have uh, envelopes. You can't see what's in them. Pick an envelope, any envelope. One of them has sauces, so security number. What did you win? Number. Turn it over real quick. It should say on the front. Dave Attell. That yeah. Dude. Dave Attell right. tickets from Treasure Island. That guy's That's hilarious. Fun. Wrestling tickets. Oh, All right, man. fantastic. Gabriel Iglesias. There you go. Gabriel Iglesias goes. tickets. That's really good. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Congratulations. Absolutely. And again, our big winner, we will get you all your information here uh, momentarily. Man, that was uh, that was a greasy wheel yeah, spin. That was a greasy yeah. wheel. Whew, I, I did not greasy, think it was greasy. good to Kayla, but it did. And she's Absolutely. going to Vegas. Great yeah. job, everybody. Oh, we got, what, what, two minutes to go here? Yeah, two minutes. Anybody have grievances or uh, complaints? About Saucy? Sauce, you got sports you want to complain about? Uh, no. No. Do you want to talk about what's going on when we're done here? Where are you going this weekend? Uh, I'm, I'm going uh, to Europe with my lovely wife for my fifth honeymoon. He's going on his fifth honeymoon, ladies and gentlemen. Going on his honeymoon. Yeah. Congratulations. You know where we're going? To Lieber's spot? Yeah, we're going to Lieber's spot. Going yeah. to Lieber's spot. I, I was told yesterday, uh, please don't tweet every day some random picture and say, you're at Lieber's spot. So I probably will because Do don't, don't encourage it. Yeah. Was that uh, from somebody you live with or somebody you work with? Uh, probably all of the above. Yeah, that's probably right. Absolutely. So, yeah, it's going to be great. I can't wait. Yeah. So you're going straight to the red light district when you get to Amsterdam, right, just so you can dabble? Uh, Hawk gave me a couple of cards that he picked up the last time he was there for phone numbers. So Yeah, I picked up cards and some other things as well. Be real careful. Yeah, so I can't wait. Have you been to Amsterdam well, before? I've only been to the airport with Hog's dad. Mm -hmm. We've it's been there awesome. a couple times. and. The last time we were there is when we did that serving the troops bit. And yeah. Everybody was like, after this, we're all going to go to Amsterdam. And Hawk and I watched them all take the yellow brick road as we walked back into the airport. Yeah, was, we were uh, sad. But so I'm excited to go. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Um, ladies and gentlemen, everybody who came down here, thank you so much. A giant crowd of people last night and today. That thank you to sweet. Treasure Island Resort and Casinos for taking such good care of us as well. Uh, we were talking again. We're thinking maybe we move it to the event center next year because maybe. the crowd's gotten so big. So thank you very, very much. Um, it's the weekend. It's finally here. Marnes, do you have any parting words? Uh, go Wolves. First place on the line tonight. Wolves at Denver. What How time will that be? Oh. Free game at 730 if I'm still hosting tonight. I've got no indication of otherwise. I think you're good. And how about the initials major winner, John Creasel, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Hey, held on and got it done. It was ugly, but effective. It worked. Start fast and hang on, buddy. Yep. Jared Wells, thank you so much as always. Nick Madden, thank you so much as always. Zach Halverson and my main man, Max Fuller, back at the shop. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for being here. God bless you. Thank you so much. 9 to noon next. We're back 5.30 to 9 on Monday. Everybody have a fantastic Easter weekend. See you.